So the intro to this song is very, very simple. You start on a B flat minor chord, F, B flat, and D flat. You go from there to an E flat minor in its root position, E flat, G flat, and B flat. You go from there to an A flat major in its second inversion, E flat, A flat, and C. And then you're back to the B flat minor second inversion, F, B flat, D flat. So in the introduction to this song, when Hobson's saying, you think you're original, you're not original, so on and so forth. That's the introduction to this song. So easily the trickiest part about learning this song is the lead keyboard line, hands down. It took me a little while to get this, but I finally got it. Uh, you're going to start with like an eighth note rest before uh, starting into it. So it's going to go hit, and then you're going to go F, B flat, C, D flat, C, B flat, F, F, D flat, E, F, B flat, D flat, C, B flat. That's the first half. So the first half by itself goes. That's the first half. Now the second half starts a similar way. You get an eighth note rest, then you're going to start this time on B flat. B flat, G flat, F, E flat, D flat, B flat, C, F, D flat, B flat, C, B flat, C, A, B flat. So the second half is going to sound like this. Once more. Once all the way through, your lead keyboard line that keeps repeating for pretty much the whole song is going to go like this. That what I just did, that last time, was full speed. That's the keyboard lead to this song. Now your left hand has one loop that repeats for the entire song. And there's two ways you can go about learning it. There's a really simple version, or here, actually there's three ways, excuse me. There's a very, very simple version where you just play single notes. That's gonna go B flat, G flat, F, B flat, and that just literally keeps looping. Knocking a rainbow star in the air, so I da 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 da. But the darkness provides the light for me. I don't wanna be lonely. Da 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 da. So you can do that. That's the super super easy way. You can also do this. You can play octaves and just do exactly what I was doing before. And then if your ear's sharp enough, you're going to hear in the verses that there's actually a second keyboard part in addition to that crazy one already um, that's playing underneath it. And what I've actually done is I've taken that second keyboard part and I've added it to the left hand. And it may sound kind of crazy, the way I like to break up the left hand in this song is I like to play octaves for everything except the part where I'm playing that ridiculous lead keyboard part. And then when I'm playing that ridiculous lead keyboard part in my right hand, I play this in my left hand. And as you can see, half of it's the same from what we showed from what I showed you before. It's just instead of playing this, you play this twice. And those notes, for those of you who didn't know already, were B flat, D flat, B flat, C, B flat, D flat, B flat, C. So, 
I'll leave it to you to decide how you want to break that up, but those are the different ways that you can play the left hand during this song. So if you put together the simple left hand that I showed you from before together with that crazy right hand lead keyboard, you should get something like this. simple version. Now if you take the more advanced left hand that I showed you that I like to play, you should get something like this combined with your right keyboard hand lead. That is how you play the verse to this song. Now easily, my favorite part about playing this song is the second kind of, it's almost like a whistle or, or like a hollow sounding synth lead that first shows up when Hobson says, say my name and people get afraid and shook, something like that. Easily my favorite part about playing this song. It's written really, really well. It's a good melody. Um, it's going to go over the same left hand that I showed you from before. And your notes for it in the right hand are going to go as follows. You're going to start here on an F. You're going to go E flat, G flat, F, D flat, F, D flat, F, B flat, A. So once in rhythm, it should sound like this. Now personally, I like this melody so much that I really, really want to stick, really want it to stick out when I'm when I'm playing this live. So what I like to do is I like to double that up and play octaves in the right hand. So just take those exact same notes, and in this case, or in this camera view, I'm going to show you me doubling it up an octave lower. So it's going to go same notes, just doubled up an octave. That's the synth, or the second synth lead in your right hand. Putting that synth, or that second synth lead that I just showed you together with uh, the simpler left hand. I like to play the simpler left hand with this. Putting those two parts together, you should get something like this for when the second synth lead comes in. the second synth lead. Now there's two ways to go about playing your uh, chorus vocal line. You know, when the sun goes down, nocturnal rainbows soar in the air, so I... Da, 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 da. Uh, Hobson actually is harmonizing with himself on that, so there's two... At, at times there's two voices going and two different pitches going. So if you want just the lead, just the lead pitch, that's gonna go like this. This is the simpler version of the chorus vocal line. You're going to start here on a B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, F, B flat, B flat, B flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, F, D flat, F. So let's just look at that. Then from there you're gonna go B flat, B flat, F, F, E flat, E flat, D flat, D flat, B flat, B flat, G flat, G flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, F. So that second segment is gonna go.
From there, you're going to go into I don't want to be lonely. That's going to go start here on an F. F, F, E flat, E flat, E flat, D flat, D flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, G flat, A flat, F, F, E flat. So that segment is going to go. From there, you're going to go to D flat, D flat, D flat. F, F, E flat, E flat, E flat, D flat, D flat. And then, instead of nocturnal rainbows, B flat, B flat, B flat, E flat, E flat, D flat, F, E flat, D flat, B flat. So once through the simple version of your chorus, it's going to go like this. And now, if you want to learn uh, the part where Hobson is harmonizing with himself, this is the more advanced version of the chorus. That's going to go like this. You're going to start off the same. When the sun goes down, nocturnal, and this is where he starts harmonizing. In addition to the G flat up here, you're going to have a D flat down here. That's an F, and now a C, D flat and B flat together, D flat and B flat, and then back up to the F and the C. From there you're going to go back to where you were for the simpler version uh, for two measures. And then the harmony comes back in again on the I don't want to be lonely. So you've got the F right here from before, D flat is added. You've got the E flat from before with a C added. You've got the D flat from before, you're going to go B flat and then F. I don't want to be lonely. And then you're going to go G flat, G flat like before. You've got a G flat up here like before, but you got a D flat added. You've got F together with a B flat added. E flat from before, now there's a C added. That's three D flats. That's F and D flat. E flat with a C added. flat with a B flat added and now an F and then if you want to play the harmony for the very end part you got to play octaves and that's gonna go so once through your advanced harmonized chorus lead vocal line is gonna go like this That's the advanced version of your chorus line. Again, it's up to you which one you pick, but that's your chorus. So putting together the advanced chorus line that I showed you from before, together with the same left hand, the simple version that we've been using from before, you should get something like this for your chorus.
And there you have it, Nocturnal Rainbows by Hobson. And be on the lookout for Promise You'll Find Us, Thomas Aquinas, my brand new album coming out in 2013. Metacritic recently broke their 100 point scale to give the album a score of 100,081. Senior editor John Bon Jovi told reporters that Young Jeezy's tambourine skills on this album are mind-bending.